The Herbivorous Butcher is a vegan butcher shop in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We had been making this stuff for ourselves for a really, really long time. Kind of combined our recipes that we were working on independently. My ribs and Aubrey's army of sausages. We started with six products at the farmer's market and then grew from there. And it was really our customers that would come every single week and say, I really want to eat this and I want to eat this. And that's how we kind of got started because we wanted to eat steak again, wanted to eat ribs again. I went vegan when I was 14, which is a really long time ago. It was in 1995. And there wasn't really much out there. There was a vegan Boca burger. There was tofu. So it started with a real basic seitan, just soy sauce, water, vital wheat gluten, and nutritional yeast. And then that kind of adapted over the years. When we first opened, it was new for the city of Minneapolis, and they couldn't figure out how to classify us and how to say like what we needed in our kitchen for health code because we were a butcher shop. Our architects looked at us and said, you're a savory bacon. And we're like, oh my gosh, we are. So, I mean, it, it, that is kind of how it works. It's a, a wet ingredient and a dry ingredient. And they go together and they get mixed and kneaded. And then from there, they're all hand formed into whatever they will eventually become. The Korean rib is the, the number one meat. Very savory, sweet. You know, hits a lot of the Minnesotan flavor palette. Not spicy at all, of course. Our steaks are really popular, our sausages, our chorizo is on a lot of restaurant menus because it's really easy to work with. You can crumble it really easily. A lot of the cheeses are a soy milk and coconut oil base. And uh, from that base, you know, we can make just about anything. Uh, cheese sauces, spreads, anything from brie to a hard cheddar. And we also have uh, the nut-based cheeses, uh, almond-based ones like uh, feta and herb feta, and the ricotta. You know, when we first started making cheeses, Kale was stirring each batch one pot at a time. And he would have to make like 30 batches a day and he would be standing in front of the stove for 16 hours. The food truck is it's how we express the things that we want to eat. We won best vegan food truck in the country two years in a row. The way things are going, it seems like vegan meat and cheese is the future. Seeing Tyson and Hormel and all these companies that fight so hard against using the terms chicken or steak or burgers. They're lobbying against it, but they're throwing billions of dollars into it. So they know something's coming. 